the beautiful Monique Rose. She is a finance and fitness educator. So I'm gonna give her some space. So please, welcome Monique. Sunday, everyone. Can you hear me clearly? Sometimes I get nervous speaking on microphones, just having that focal point be on you, you know? Whoever wants to be in the spotlight like that. But social media makes it a little bit easier these days, right? With the selfies and the videos. Um, but I'm just really happy to be um, here. Thank you, Stronger Together, for um, giving me a space to speak and for inviting me here to just connect with everyone. Um, your events are always phenomenal. This is the third event I've supported for Stronger Together. So let's just give them a round of applause for this community initiative. A strong shout out to you, Janelle, for being a powerful role model and just empowering woman. Um, as she mentioned, my name is Monique Rose. I am a fitness and finance educator. Now, that may not be a title that you go to school and major in. Like, hi, I'm here to major in the fitness and finance education program. So to give you a bit of background on how that uh, came about is, I did get my master's in education at the young age of 21, and then I started teaching high school English. I taught high school English for about six years, and I realized my passion for not just learning information and um, uh, simplify simplifying it for adolescents and helping them to be um, lifelong learners and learning personal development and career development, um, but I also realized my passion for wanting to do more in the education field outside the classroom. So six years in, um, oh, well, I would say four years in, um, I was pretty much found myself depressed. I felt like I wasn't fulfilled anymore. Things were falling apart in my personal life. And I realized that you can't really help people be their best selves or teach them how to do better if you don't feel that you're at your best self, you know? Sometimes, you know, we're vessels, we're cups, and we have to be filled up to pour it into others. And that's something I had to learn from a very young age. I was 20, 21 when I started teaching. So I was like 24 when I found myself really depressed. I was a new mom, I have a six year old son now. But when he was about one years old, I was told that I was pre-diabetic. Um, so I didn't realize that from stress, depression, then um, falling victim to emotional eating, um, binge eating, uh, you know, just sleeping late, just really implementing a lot of unhealthy habits because I was channeling my depression, anxiety in these unhealthy ways, something that many of us can probably relate to, especially during this pandemic. Um, it, the wake up call came when I went to the hospital and the doctor said, uh, yeah, you'll be have to, we have to put you on insulin. You're, you're 225 pounds and you're only 5'5", five five. your BMI is through the roof. BMI is your body mass index. And while I felt good and I thought I looked good, I wasn't very healthy. And so the doctor, I told the doctor I wasn't, I didn't want to start medication so young in my life. And that's what prompted me to take um, a, a different change, make, make a change, take a different course. And um, I told them, give me five weeks, I'll come back in five weeks and I'll try to implement some of the things you, te you taught me. So the doctor said, try, drinking a gallon, um, eight cups of water a day, right? And try um, cutting out carbs, limiting your fats. And I did all of that, but I wasn't seeing the results I wanted to see because at the end of the day, I was still stressed. I realized there's another part that's crucial to physical health and that's your mental health. Um, doctors always talk about that correlation, right? Like where are you mentally and how does that impact where you are physically? And so to fast forward, I went through what's called a spiritual journey. There's a lot more meditation and uh, reflect, reflection and writing, a lot more reading. And ultimately, um, I, thought, I realized that I had anxiety that I need to control. So to make a long story short, because I found the mental motivation and I was able to unlock what was causing um, me to fall victim to these unhealthy habits, I was able to change those unhealthy habits. And I found five ways or five habits that I need to change to lose the weight and to overcome my anxiety. And those five things I've listed and created an ebook for and I'll share with you later on. But um, ultimately, I lost two pounds a week following this five steps. So just to tell you really quick, the first step is drinking a gallon of water a day. The second step is not eating after seven or 8, 8 p.m. or like three hours before bed. The third step being um, implementing 30 minutes of some form of activity. Then the fourth step was um, uh, implementing natural juices or, or just in, increasing my um, intake of vitamins and minerals intentionally on a daily basis. 
And then the fifth step was um, limiting simple carbs. So you have simple and complex carbs. So for example, instead of having white rice, you may go for brown rice or things like that. So those five steps um, literally helped me to, and putting them all together, helped me to lose two pounds a week. And now, um, you know, I started going to the gym and people told me in the gym, man, I've seen you transform. You went from 225 to 200, 180, and today I'm 150, 150 pounds. And um, I wanted to help more people and I wanted to do so in a professional in a professional way. So I went back to school to be a personal trainer, study body mechanics, and now today I'm a fitness coach. And I educate people on how to tailor programs specifically for your fitness needs, your health goals. Um, we practice metacognition, which is like thinking about your own thinking, like what's, like identifying what are those unhealthy habits that's holding you back, and how are mental health barriers or childhood traumas or stressors in your life leading to those, those unhealthy habits. So we do a lot of that, it's not just me. Um, I went from personal training to then uh, creating an online platform called Most Motivational Health Club. And what we render now is nutrition services. We have nutritionists. We have other personal trainers that work with you one on one. We also have um, fitness um, products like body suits or resistant bands, just different uh, resources and services to keep you motivated and support you along your journey. So that's the fitness side. Then on the financial side, I realized while I was feeling healthier, looking better, uh, financially things weren't so great. Right, I had like a 560 credit score, I was ready to buy a house, couldn't get the pre-approval, and I'm just like, okay, well we can look great and we can go on Instagram and post all these beautiful pictures, and, but how stable is your life, right? Like how much are you investing into your future financially? Um, what, are the, what really makes us happy, I discovered, are two Fs. And who can guess what those two Fs are? Like what are the two things that as adults really make us happy? Say that. Financial freedom, who has another? I'm pretty sure some of you are here together as such. Family, friendship, friendship turn family, right? And what else? Finance, so financial freedom and family tends to be, who can agree by a show of hands that financial freedom and family, as you get older, become like the two core values in your life. That's really what centers your happiness. And so my company's motto, most Motivational Health Club is to help families become healthier and happier every day by create, uh, establishing a lifestyle. And so uh, now we've partnered with a credit restoration company. It's also a financial education service company. Um, they, we offer credit restoration, identity protection, um, help you establish a new stream of income, and just we do weekly presentations and workshops on investing and stocks, and ultimately we just really want to um, pour into families any way we can, whether it be through fitness or finance. So I don't want to take up too much of your time, but that's a little bit about what my company does and my background, and I hope to connect with all of you. So um, right now, if you have your phone in your hand, go ahead and text credit or fitness to 914-573-3348. And I will, I will say that again. Go ahead and text credit or fitness, and this is not to sell you anything, but just to share more information with you, to 914-573-3348. 3348. And if you have IG or Instagram, um, you can follow me as MoFit, M O F I T underscore underscore health club. And I look forward to connecting with all of you to know who you are, your company background, how we could potentially collaborate, or how I can be of service to you, or just to be a friend, right? Um, a, a mentor, however. So thank you guys for listening and continue to be prosperous, peaceful, passionate and prayerful. If no matter what your religion is, just continue to focus on those four Ps and those two, two keys of happiness, family and financial freedom. Thank you again. Again, let's give her a round of applause. Thank you so much.
so much beautiful information and great experience to share with all of us. And your transformation is amazing. So thank you. Next we have um, 